and back out. It was all very last minute, uh, as it seems to be quite often, but uh, I finished work at like half five, I jumped straight in the car. I've had this little itch that I've wanted to scratch for a while. Um, I'm thinking, where can I go? I want to do a little coastal camp. I want to do a coastal camp. And then a friend of mine, uh, he'll know who he is. <laughs> Cheers, TD. Um, gave me a little tip off to an area. Um, so I thought I'd come and wreck it out. I think me and him are going to come down here in uh, in maybe a few weeks. But uh, I thought I'd come and have a little look, check it out and see what it's like. And as you can see, I couldn't have picked a better day. It's, uh, it's absolutely dead down there, there's no one down there. See behind me, the sun is, is setting. This is gonna be one of the last warm evenings uh, of the year, I think. You can, you can feel it changing rapidly. So uh, I've come down here, I'm gonna wander down to the other end of the beach down here, I think. There's a little bit of woodland at the end and uh, there's some pillboxes here as well, some old pillboxes. I'm going to wander down there and see if I can find a little spot for myself. I've got my, uh, um, I've got my little bivvy bag. I've got a little tarp. I'm going to be open to the elements tonight. Uh, but on an evening like this, it doesn't look like I could go wrong, to be honest. So uh, come along. I'm going to take a wander down now and see if I can find a little spot to set up a little camp. I don't think I'm going to be bothered tonight if I go way down there. I may even head up onto the cliffs up there somewhere and see what I can find up there but all right let's uh let's have a wander all right then I've wandered up and down the beach a little bit and uh it's all pretty much beachy so <laughs> I'm just gonna have to pick a spot but uh there's a, a little river that comes in behind me here it obviously penetrates underneath this pebble beach but um there's a bunch of wood and stuff there so I can have a little fire here somewhere so I think I'm just gonna prop myself up on the top get my tarp and everything set up and uh, enjoy what's left of that behind me so uh, all right, let's get on with this Just gonna sit here now. I've got the uh, got a little camera going over there with a the time lapse. So you know me, love a time lapse. Uh, but I've uh, got the fire going here, a little bush box. I'm just gonna sit and relax and enjoy this. Cook up some food. I think now to get into that time of the evening. Um, yeah, I've got some uh, chicken and rice. Something a little bit different. There's some chicken and rice this evening, so uh, something nice and easy that I can just do on the little, the little bush box here. So, uh, what a beautiful evening. The moon is up behind me as well, over here. God, it's all going on tonight, isn't it? We've got moons, crescent moons and sunsets. <laughs> Beaches, what more can you want? No, <coughs> yeah, right. I think I'm gonna uh, get myself a little copper on, a little brewski. Yeah, I just thought I should probably uh, go give you a little show round. Somebody, somebody said the other day they like the fact they showed that I showed you around the camp and my, my little setup, so uh. Here you go, it's a bit dark, so I'm doing it on my phone. So apologies for the quality, but uh, so it's a DD Superlight Tarp S, uh, 10 by, no, four by eight, four feet by eight feet uh, on the outside. I've just got a single trekking pole in the corner and then the corners are just weighed down with rocks. And then I've just blocked up that end because the wind is coming from up in that direction. Uh, I have a little seat pad, water, and I've got my, uh, my little, this the mini, that's the, uh, I think it's called the 
LF, Bush Box LF, something like that. It's the small one anyway. So I've got that going there. Uh, and then underneath here, there's my bag, just to, uh, again, just act as a little bit of a windbreak because the wind's coming from kind of that direction. But then I've got a uh, Terra Nova Jupiter, and it's the older one. It's the Gore-Tex, the proper Gore-Tex one. So uh, it's the old version, which is by far, well, it was voted by far the best uh, bivvy bag for years. Uh, and I agree with it, to be honest. It's um, it's really, really good. Um, it's nice and big, loads of room, uh, which is great. And then inside it, I've got one of the Trekology pillows just there, Trekology pillow. Uh, and then I've also got, I'm gonna treat myself this evening, an actual uh, soft pillow. And then inside, I've got the Thermarest uh, Questar uh, 20, 20 Fahrenheit bag, zero degrees. Again, overkill. It's, I think it's only supposed to get down to about seven degrees, but uh, I sleep in my pants and I can be fancy. Uh, and then the nice thing is I, when I zip this up, the outer, this is a bug net. So I can just have a bug net and it can be open so I'll be able to see the stars because it's supposed to be a clear night tonight. Uh, and then inside I'm sleeping on the um, Thermarest uh, Neo Air X-Therm mat. So uh, yeah, that's me. That's it really. So nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, but no, I'm looking forward to this, especially when... Not too shabby for Mr. Burr. Room with a view. <laughs> been warming for a little bit on there now it's uh, looking okay actually a bit of piri piri chicken let's get a bit of ow, smoke in my eye ow. oh I can't find any there's a bit a bit of chicken a bit of rice oh yeah Oh, that's really good. I'm surprised how good that is. Right. I'm going to enjoy this. Evening, everyone. It's uh, it's about half past ten at night now, and it's uh, bedtime for me. It's been an absolutely beautiful evening. The stars have been out all night. It's such a clear night. I can see the uh, Milky Way up there. It's amazing. So uh, I'm going to get myself packed into bed night now. Um, it's probably going to be a fairly early morning for me tomorrow. Get up and out of the way before early dog walkers and things along here. Not that it matters, I don't think. Um, I've got a time lapse going overnight, so hopefully we'll pick up some uh, some nice shots of the stars tonight. It's looking really nice, but uh, I'm looking forward to going to sleep to the waves. So I'll catch you all in the morning. Thanks very much for following along. Signing out. <laughs>
Morning all. I hope everybody is well. Uh, I thought I'd check in. I'm obviously on my way back out now. All packed up this morning and uh, time to head back. Uh, had a little bit of a drama in the middle of the night as some of you not so eagle eyed will probably have already spotted. Uh, my tarp decided it was going to let loose and try and escape. No, if one of the corners let go and it starts flapping around and I lied there for I lied there for a little bit, just putting up with it. I thought, God, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's like when you need a pee, isn't it, in the middle of the night? And you lie there going, oh, I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. And you lie there for ages and you should have just got up in the first place. But uh, so anyway, I got up and I just wrapped up the tarp and I stuffed it into my bag and just used without it, which was actually fine. It was absolutely fine. Slept well. Uh, it's time to get back now. I've got about, it's probably about 40 minutes uh, to back home. But uh, yeah, it was really nice actually last night. It's something very different. I've not done many coastal ones or not in a long time anyway. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was nice to go and uh, go and do that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, something a little bit different. I've got some plans um, coming up for um, new camps and things. So uh, um, thanks again for following along. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you on the next one.